Welcome to this short video review. Today I'm going to talk about in mount slight long uh, mount for Dr. Sight that goes on Zauer 404 or better called Zauer SUM, so Zauer uh, Universal Mounting System. So let's speak a couple of words regarding the in mount. So in mount is a German company which became the biggest producer uh, or I would say in top three biggest producers of mounts in, in Germany. Probably also quite high on the whole um, range of um, producers of scope mounts in the world, especially in this segment of more, I would say, elaborated hunting mounts. Uh, they originate or their co company is still called InnoGun, which uh, means innovative guns and they produce uh, hunting rifles very special hunting rifles uh, they have a hybrid rifle between a combination rifle drop barrel type and a repeating rifle it's really interesting go on their web page and check it out it's something really special but still in the last i would say six seven years i think they gained much more success with their mounting solutions than with their rifles even though their rifles deserve more attention that they get um, they produce their mounts out of aluminum. They all come with 10 years warranty, uh, but all the important parts where the mount connects to the rifle and so on, all the moving parts are made out of steel. So I would say this is the perfect combination between aluminum and steel. So the use of both materials uh, so that the customer gets a light mount, an elegant mount, but at the same time very reliable. Where or what distincts in a mount from other mounts is their system of clamping, this clamping mechanism. It's different than than all, from all other manufacturers. Uh, in, um, in with this special feature, that you have to push this rod in to partially open the lever, and when you put the lever back into the locking position, it's first of all aesthetic and pleasing and second of all it's really really safe you're not able to unintentionally open it so this is something very positive um, with this clamping mechani mechanism uh, what is really good with this slight long mount is that there are two of them uh, so you have a longer mount but on the other side is also far more reliable there are other mounts out there for uh, Zauer 404 um, that have only one clamp and they're much shorter but I would say that this is a better option uh, it's far more reliable and I would say robust uh, the price of this mount is around 250 euros which is given the build quality I would say quite fair and decent the height of this mount is approximately 8 millimeters a little bit less than 8 millimeters and the length is I think around 12 millimeters uh, 12 centimeters 120 millimeters so it's quite a big mount as uh, mount especially if you consider that usually a small red dot goes on it um, the foot uh, print for the red dot it's standard doctor site I would highly encourage you to go to our blog post regarding the red dot side footprints because then you're able to get additional information which red dot sides will fit on this mount normally noblex and doctor sides by default but also i think size compact point uh, it even has the name size compact point in, uh, in the product description on their label um, but also vortex red dot sides uh, meopta red dot sides and, and many others mm. I will say a word or two how to uh, adjust this clamping mechanism. So first of all, you have to unlock this locking screw here on top so that you're able to manipulate the main screw which uh, dictates the clamping force. Uh, in amount doesn't give any special instruction regarding what torque you should apply to this screw, but uh, in my experience, when you're still able to close the, um, the lever, then you're just right. When there is really a lot of resistance, but you're still able to close it, then it's set correctly. 
And then when you do this, you just have to unlock back the screw so that nothing can, can change or move. Uh, for the top screws which hold the red side in place, well, this four notches hold it even more. Uh, two newton meters is enough. You can also do it by feeling, just apply the torque um, um, gently and it will be enough because not much, uh, these two screws don't hold much um, and they are not really that important, honestly speaking. Um, okay, last but not least, I already mentioned that the recoil stopper and everything else is made out of steel, but uh, I do have to point out that uh, even though they have written on the label and everywhere Zauer 404, ever since 2020, so since last year, this mounts fit also on the new versions of Zauer 303, because the Zauer 303 rifle, uh, its mounting surface changed in 2020. Before that time, it was um, easy mounting system. I think it was ideal, sour something. Now it's a universal, sour universal mounting system. So it changed. So this mount will fit also on 303, Zauer 303, if you, you have a model which is, uh, well, newer, uh, was produced from 2000. 20 onwards. Uh, if you have any questions about it, just send us a picture of your rifle if you are not sure which mount you need and we will definitely figure it out the right one. Okay, I think I, I'm able to wrap up this review with a short sweet and sour part. What I really like about this mount and what could have been done better. Honestly speaking, there is so much to like. The build quality, the weight, it's still a very light mount. The clamping mechanisms, the, I would say, okay, maybe what could can be done better, where there's still some room for improvement, eight millimeters of height, it could can be done even lower. If, if this mount would be only four millimeters high, it would be even better. Even though with the red dot sight, honestly speaking, it won't bother you much, even if your dot is a bit higher. But let's say if you're using Leica Tempus, uh, which has a, uh, which is a little bit higher by itself, then if you could lower the mount for a couple of millimeters, it could only do good. Um, so this is basically the only room for improvement. Everything else, I think it's, it's really done well and I wouldn't change it. Okay, I hope I covered everything. If I forgot something, please use the comments below or send us an email. And if you would like to support our YouTube channel, please subscribe. It means more than you can imagine and it helps us grow our channel. Thank you.